After Davos brings Jon's corpse into a room, Melisandre is called. She tells the few men loyal to Jon that she saw Jon fighting in Winterfell in the flames, but chalks it up to another vision that will not come true. Later that evening in her chambers at Castle Black, Melisandre undresses for the evening. Looking forlorn at herself in the mirror, she takes off her necklace and her illusion of beauty disappears, revealing her true form, a frail old woman, many centuries old. She climbs slowly into bed. Later, Davos implores Melisandre to attempt to revive Jon, saying that he cares nothing for red gods, drowned gods or the seven, but he does believe in her power. Melisandre reluctantly agrees to try. As Davos and Tormund watch, with Ghost present too, Melisandre attempts the resurrection, ritualizing the experience more than Thoros did. Initially after performing the ritual, nothing happens. Dejected. All but Ghost leave. As Ghost gets up from resting, Jon Snow gasps and opens his eyes. A few moments later, an astonished Melisandre returns to the room to find Davos assisting the newly revived Jon. Desperate for answers, Melisandre asks him about his experience, and is disappointed to learn that like Beric Dondarrion, he saw nothing while dead. Still pressing, Melisandre says that Stannis was not the prince that was promised, but, someone must be. Since Jon is still trying to wrap his head around what happened, Davos asks Melisandre to give him some space, which she does to his surprise. Melisandre is later visible on the ramparts of Castle Black when Jon appears before the Night's Watch, and when he executes the ringleaders of the mutiny at Castle Black. Davos asks if Melisandre intends to stay at Castle Black. She replies that she will do whatever Jon Snow commands her to do, as she does indeed consider him to be the prince that was promised. Davos points out that she was once sure it was Stannis, and takes the opportunity to grill her about what really happened on the road to Winterfell. They are interrupted by Brienne, who boldly tells them that Stannis lost, and that she executed him after he admitted to using blood magic to kill Renly. Davos processes Brienne while Melisandre slips away. Sansa demands that she and Jon lead the Stark loyalists against House Bolton, which he originally ignores, but agrees after Ramsay sends a letter detailing the death of his father and the capture of their brother, Rickon. Melisandre is present at a war council meeting while Sansa, Jon and Davos discuss which of the northern houses they can ask for support. Melisandre later rides with Jon and Sansa when they depart from Castle Black. The night before the Jon goes to battle with Ramsay Bolton, he enters Melisandre's tent and remarks that he did not see her at the war council. He asks her not to bring him back from the dead a second time if he falls during the next day's battle. She implies that it is not her decision and she must do as the Lord of Light commands. After Jon's victory at the battle, Melisandre walks along the battlements of Winterfell, as she once saw in the flames. She is unaware that Davos is watching her from below, having discovered that she had Shireen killed. When Davos interrupts Melisandre's conversation with Jon in the Hall of Winterfell and challenges her about Shireen's death, she shows remorse at the sight of her burned wooden carving and confesses her culpability. Though she argues that she burnt Shireen at the command of her parents, when Jon asks her for any last defense, Davos denounces the order as evil and threatens to execute her personally. Jon exiles her from the north for her crime of infanticide, after which she is seen riding south from Winterfell.